Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you're having doubts, look at all these happy customers. So sorry for not being active for a while, but I've been on holiday to Spain for two weeks. And then when I got off holiday, I just wasn't that motivated to make videos. But anyway, we've got a video now, and uh, this is going to be a bit of a kind of like a sad fight. You'll you'll see in the end. But basically, this is guy Roku. He's calling these guys cheaters, and he seems to be getting teamed up by like four people. Uh, this Nibble K guy says, "Ever heard of explosive ammo sniper?" So maybe he's not actually cheating. Maybe some misunderstanding. So either way, I want to check him out because. They're all teaming on this one guy, and you know, I love a good fight where I'm outnumbered. So, yeah, this is what happens. So, I fly over in my buzzard, but unfortunately, I couldn't get my control to work, so I couldn't actually get any kills with the buzzard. But yeah, this guy managed to get a, a rocket shot. I thought I landed the helicopter perfectly, so I wouldn't be able to get shot, but I guess I was wrong. But anyway, we're on to a ground fight. Tell me, do you feel it? Be there for you. I got you. This feeling is screaming inside of me. Take it slowly. Oh, baby, when you see me cruise, you got my heart stop looking at you. As you don't know the Okay, quick, look at this. This actually infuriated me so much. So I literally have the rocket lined up perfectly and one of these NPCs wants to drive into it. Like, I literally can't get any more unlucky. Baby, let's make So at this point, I just presume they're using BST or something like that. That's why they're dealing that much damage towards me. I mean, it does seem reasonable. He's just like two shot me the marksman or something. But um, the fact that this guy just didn't miss any shots. Oh no, that's a bit sketchy, man. As you can see in these fights though, I'm dealing so much damage, even with BST, like this nibble guy, he should die to like a one shot with my BST, because he doesn't have BST, because he's not in a CO or anything, but um, he just doesn't, he just soaks up all my bullets, it's just really annoying, same with this guy as well, he should be dying to that. Yeah, no, that's a bit fucked, I think they might be hacking. Also, don't want to make any excuses, but this was the first time I played on PC in quite a while. But you can see, like, this guy rolls, and sometimes on GTA, if you roll at the perfect time, like, the shot does, doesn't register, but of course, knowing my luck, my shot doesn't register because he rolls at the perfect time, so I've got to hit him again. It's just things like that that add up and just makes it really, really frustrating to fight. And to add insult to injury, I get one-shotted by a marksman after I snack all the way up. Now, as you can see, I've got a helmet on. Yeah, no, that's just that's just full of muds. That's literally just... Oh. So yeah, I've got a helmet on, I've got BST, and these guys that's just one-shot me with a marksman. I think that's not a legit... Uh, it's not something that happens normally in games, so it's blatant mullet. Look how fast I'm dying as well. Like, there's literally nothing in game that can make you one shot like this. So I'm basically just screwed in this this situation. So what I try and do is uh, try and be sneaky. 
I don't care about dying at this point, I just want to get out of the way. So I use a teleportation glitch, you can see what I do, I'm just going to not cut any of this because I don't really want people to say like, oh, you're modding, you're modding, you should teleport over it. No, this is what I'm doing. Also, even though technically it is a good thing that Rockstar fixed, which is the laggy one shot, it would have been so helpful in this situation because they've got like extra health. If I just had a little bit of lag, I could be able to one shot all of these and it would be really painful. Now, as you can see, I'm still getting one shot from this distance, they don't have to think about anything. And um, it's just like ridiculously overpowering. Bro, oh, like, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And another thing that happens, of course, because I've been incredibly unlucky, this guy's basically standing still. I have a clean shot at him, and this NPC just walks in. I have no idea where he is. Just this NPC just blocks my path. I've literally been shooting the sniper rifle for the past, like, 20 seconds, and he's still just casually strolling in front of me. And, of course, I get a hit marker, because I end up shooting his arm or something. If I literally shoot his body, that'd probably be a one-shot, one-kill or something like that. But no, not to me, because I'm incredibly unlucky. And of course, there's not just one modder, there's like two or three. In fact, they're probably all modding. Look at this guy, he literally just has to look at me, just right click, shoot, and then I'm dead in one hit. Ridiculously overpowered. I literally can't do anything. Of course, I'm trapped in a spawn trap as well. Also, I know none of you care about Fortnite, but this is literally how I look I am in every single game. I get a shot on this guy, my shot literally hits him. I also place a wall to block his shot, but I still get shot through my wall. My shot also doesn't connect because of like internet or something like that, but it's so annoying that this happens in every single game. Just random bullshit like this. Also, let's take a moment to point out that this is basically in the middle of the night and there's all these people just sitting on the pier after hearing all these explosions. I'm literally running into people left, right and centre. And of course, because I've got thermal on, it's just oh, yellow off, everywhere. Also, it's like a repeat from earlier. See, I've got a clean shot on him. He's not around the corner just yet. In fact, that basically should have hit. Slow down. I don't know, let me know down below if you think that should have hit. But of course, all these There's NPCs so decide to run straight into the path of my Machine rocket. Possible. Like I could have had a kill. But no, literally the entire population of the city decides to run in front of me, so I can't do anything. Yeah, that guy decides to go to press him up to and drive away. I guess he's bored of using his mods against me. I mean, he's not really interesting gameplay. All you have to do is right click and then shoot because all your mods do the hard work for you. But anyway, this video isn't just me getting messed around by modders because they're modders and of course they're going to beat me. This is where the point of the video comes in, even though it is like eight minutes into it. Sorry, it kind of took that long. But as you can see, it's a thing you can do in GTA where you can basically shoot through walls if you're far enough away. Because basically the wall, it doesn't fully load in, it's just like a like an image, an image that you can shoot through. Sort of like how you can walk through paintings in Minecraft. But yeah, I thought quite a few people knew how this worked, but these guys literally had no clue. So of course, when you don't know about certain techniques in the game, people like this just accuse you of modding. Now, if they accuse you of modding, and then you explain to them how something like that works, so you say, Oh, basically, in GTA, you can shoot through walls if you're far enough away, and you can see people through walls if you've got thermal on. Here, you can try it for yourself. But these guys are so up their own ass that, like, nope, I know everything about GTA, even though you don't, because you don't know how this works, but they think they know everything about GTA, and they think that you're a modder. And look at these guys. These guys are literally sitting over there in full-on god mode, and also the fact they're using aimbot and insta-killer against me earlier, and also the fact that it's basically a 4v1. But no, these guys... Yeah, I'm the guy that's playing dirty, I'm the guy that's using mods, even though I can literally explain every single technique that I'm using. As you can see, I am at RPG spamming. Now I'm sure most of the people that watch this channel, they know what RPG spamming is, because you guys know about tactics in the game, but these guys, they seem to have absolutely no clue about what RPG spamming is. Now, that's fine, if you don't know, even after like five years after RPG spamming was discovered or people started using it or whatever, even after five years, you still don't know what it is, that's fine, because new people come to GTA all the time. But if you want to come to GTA and say that RPG spamming is modding without letting, like, without, like, thinking, oh, maybe it's not actually modding. If you just, like, oh, there's so many words I'm just thinking of that I just want to say, but I can't. But yeah, you, you know what I mean? Basically, people go, like, oh, that's not, that's definitely modding. You can't spam RPGs that fast. Then you 
explain to them how they can do it. They go, no, I don't want to try that. That's just modding. It's like, oh, it's frustrating. But these are oh, people like this that just don't want to learn anything new about GTA. Don't care about stuff like that. And then just use mods. Like, how is this fun for them? You can see in the chat. So tell me how you start shooting through the floor with your weapon glitch. I'm assuming he's wall, but like, I don't know. It, I literally am explaining to him right now, saying that I've got thermal, but these guys don't want to hear any of it. These guys just want to call the modder card, even though they're literally using God on. <laughs> it's so annoying. Of course, this happens. I've got a little keyboard warrior rant thing. Uh, this guy just says hose mad. Even though he got destroyed, he was like the one person that I actually just destroyed because he doesn't have mods. So yeah, that's basically the video. Uh, I don't really know what the point is, I guess just people just think they know everything about GTA and they don't want to learn anything new, I don't, I don't even know, it's just, stuff like this is just really frustrating, so that's why this fight was sad, I didn't come out on top, I didn't end up beating them even though they were modding, even though most of the time I do end up beating modders, but yeah, sad times, thanks for watching, hopefully I'm going to upload more, uh, more frequently.